So, at some point, some of these transphobes need to ask themselves some pressing questions, right? Like, their hatred of trans people, it can only go so far. It can only go so extreme. To the point to where they need to begin asking questions to themselves. Like, I guess philosophical questions, but more so like questions about their own motives and like what they do, how they behave, how they come to conclusions and things like that, you know? And some of these questions include things like why am I bombing a children's hospital to defend them from groomers, right? Like, if you're, okay, so let's say for example you hate trans people and let's just say in your mind you think that trans people really legitimately are grooming children at like a systemic rate in the medical field or whatever, right? Let's just for the sake of example, let's say that you're actually doing this. So, then my question is, why are you bombing a children's hospital? Or even, like, why are you making threats to bomb a children's hospital? Because, for example, the one in Boston, the one that was on the news, that particular hospital doesn't just do, like, gender-affirming health care. They're a hospital. They do everything else that a hospital fucking does. You know, I also know that, like, there's a lot of Planned Parenthood clinics that are getting uh, bomb threats and shoot-up threats. There's already been a few that had been uh, broken into and vandalized. And it's, like, for example, the one in San Diego. There's also a couple in Los Angeles. I don't know. So I don't know about other ones, but those are the ones that I'm aware of, and I would imagine that there's more than one case for this kind of thing. But you also have to imagine, right, is that if what you're concerned about is abortions happening in these Planned Parenthood clinics, you know, say that that's what you're concerned about is children being murdered, you know, there are babies being killed in the Planned Parenthood clinics. You realize that Planned Parenthood doesn't just do abortions, right? They do all kinds of stuff, like, like actual health care. They do pap smears. They do STI testing. They provide contraceptives. They... They do all different kinds of necessary sexual and reproductive health related stuff. I feel like sometimes when people hear the word sex or sexual or like just reproductive health care or anything like that, they think of like porn because that's all they were raised on is porn. That, you know, they watch Alex Adam and Bareback Studio and Corey, what's her fucking name? What's that what's that person's name? Corey, not Corey Taylor, Corey Chase and all that. And instead of being taught adequate sex education at like, you know, the age of thirteen, like a proper fucking person should be growing up, because then they can make informed decisions on how to approach sexual situations when they're an adult. Um, no. Instead, they get repressed at such a young age because fucking Susan over here and her fundamentalist ways of doing things prevented her children from being able to have that adequate sexual, uh, you know, education. And then they grow up and they're uninformed. And then they just like, okay, well, I don't know what to do in sexual situations. I finally got married and I'm finally, you know, going to engage with her for the first time during sex and all that. I don't know what questions to ask. I don't know how to approach this. And then they just go to porn and they're like, oh shit, mommy wants to fuck me. You know, and it's just like, they don't know what consent is. They don't know how to establish boundaries. You know? It's just like, these are questions that they don't ask themselves. And it's just like, it's like these kinds of people, they go out and go do these little mass shootings because they don't understand jack shit about what they're even mad about. 
And truthfully speaking, it's like all these systemic problems that we have, including including like, you know, like rich and powerful people lobbying against trans people, rich and powerful people lobbying against abortion, rich and powerful people reinstating religion and trying to cut taxes for the rich and cut taxes for churches, abolish taxes for churches more specifically. Um, like all, all this shit, all this shit that goes on, they don't ask questions about this. There's this whole thing in the United States where it's like we're, we're free and we're, we're, we, we have liberty and justice will be served for all and all this shit. It's all this rhetoric that is just absolutely unfounded. And it's just like at the end of the day, you got to question authority, right? And so many people don't question authority. Like they just don't. They just kind of just receive things as spoon-fed to them. And sometimes what's weird is that, you know, some of these people get lost and they end up on websites like 4chan and they think like, oh shit, well now I'm, 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 you know, different than all these sheep who are asking questions, but I am the one who's asking the real questions like vaccines and all that. Like, you know, I, 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 th I, I don't trust vaccines and I don't trust the medical field and all that shit. Which, by the way, uh, speaking of vaccines, um, you know, you know who actually has suffered immensely from vaccines throughout history, and I would encourage you to like look it up, look into it, is black people in the United States, not your fucking white ass motherfucker who thinks vaccines will cause autism or that vaccines will something about the adrenochrome and all this shit just because you don't want to take a fucking COVID like shot, like honestly, like. COVID vaccines are necessary. It prevents people like you and around you from getting a fucking vaccine. I'm mean, sorry, from getting COVID. You don't want to get COVID. Trust me, it's fucking awful. I've already lost several friends because they died to COVID. And it's just absolutely fucking absurd that these people are willing to go on little mass shootings. They say, oh, the trans people are gonna fucking, you know, groom, you know, groom the kids or whatever. But it's just like, you're shooting the kids. You know, you have your little Uvalde shit where, like, you know, you had an 18-year-old going a little mass shooting, and it's just, like, the cops gather around, they fucking, like, have their balls recede into their fucking bodies and shit, and it's just, like, why, why are you so fucking inadequate? Why, why is the system so fucking inadequate? If capitalism works, you know, as opposed to communism or whatever, then why... Why is capitalism so fucking inadequate, right? Like, these, again, these are questions that these radical fucking extremist bozos don't fucking ask themselves. They never do. You know? They, it's so weird. They have, like, this fucking weird aesthetic and veneer, like, as if, oh, I'm, I'm the outlier. I'm the wolf of the pack. You know, I'm... I don't accept everything that is force-fed to me by the woke media, you know, Jewish liberal cabal or whatever. And then it's just like, they're, they, they specifically get that kind of rhetoric from the exact es establishment that they claim to be against. You know, in 2024, if, say, hypothetically, Joe Biden or whatever Democrat loses the election and we get like a Republican in office or something like that, they're going to stand in fucking allegiance with the exact establishment that they were denouncing just two or three years ago. It's a fucking double standard, and it just makes no fucking sense at all. They're absolutely fucking absurd. Like, ridiculous. Like, there's no consistency. There's no logic. There's none of that. I, I call it false sense of consciousness. It's a false consciousness. Whereas uh, class consciousness is an understanding that the capitalist system must be abolished by the working class because the working class is what produces the actual goods in the first place. You know, and, and it's like it's like the iPhone when people say, oh, you have an iPhone or you have an iPad. I'm using an iPad right now. And they say, oh, capitalism created the iPad. No, the workers created the iPad. And the iPad is created by minerals that are used uh, and extracted and stolen from uh, Central Africa. Look it up. It's actually a thing. Capitalism did not make this fucking iPad that I'm using here. The workers did. 
the workers should own the means of production. That's class consciousness. Not this fucking adrenochrome, fucking QAnon, 5G, you know, fucking, none of this shit. Y'all are fucking doofuses. Seriously, absolute doofuses.